Skunks have a powerful defense against their enemies. But how do predators know a skunk is a skunk? Nobody's really studied why skunks are black and white or how predators perceive skunks. And so we can only really assume that that coloration warns predators that skunks are dangerous or noxious in some way. Hunter made stuffed mounts of skunks and foxes. She changed the color of some to make fox-colored skunks and skunk-colored foxes. So I found that um, predators indeed recognize skunk coloration and they tend to avoid animals that are skunk colored, um, whether they be skunk shaped or shaped like another animal like a gray fox. Um, I also found that predators generalize skunk noxiousness to skunk shape, which was pretty unexpected. And so they can recognize the distinctive skunk body plan, which is kind of this short, wide body with short legs and a big plume-like tail. Uh, they recognize that and they also stay away from animals that are shaped in that way, regardless of what color they are. And what I found was that in places where skunks are really common, animals avoid them altogether. And in places where skunks are really rare, they don't really have the same effect on the predators. Predators learn to avoid anything skunky in shape or color. It may be as little as one experience. A skunk spray is pretty nasty stuff.